recycle, repurpose, reuse. This is a clothesline, an old clothesline, and it's actually upside down. But I'm gonna show you in a video today how I turned something you would have thrown in the landfill into a great tower to grow things. I'm gonna grow peas up it. And I have four different types of peas planted, and I'm gonna show you how we did it. So come along. Now this is our clothesline that we replaced the old one that we're using in the garden. And it has four arms that come out, the center post, and you can see where the actual clothesline goes through those holes. And that's what we're gonna use in the garden. Now I have it turned upside down so I can have four sides to my clothesline. And you can spread it out farther or have it more upright, that's up to you. But this works good in my space and you can see where those holes are and we are gonna use a twine that um, the load bearing is five pounds. So I'm sending a wire back through the, the hole and there I'm gonna twist the twine onto the wire so that the wire becomes like a needle and I can feed it through each of the posts real easily. Now you can tie a knot, you can just twist it around, whatever works for you as long as it can go through that hole that's in the post of your clothesline. And you just simply use it like a needle and thread and you pull it through. And because the twine is um, towards the outside, you can just keep pulling it and it won't slip through and you'll lose it and have to start again. So I just go around and I'm actually gonna do each row separately because I could have um, probably had it continuously, but I thought it would be stronger and the load bearing on the peas um, with the weight, it would work better. So I'm just about around for my first row. And sometimes you'll find it's a little bit harder to get through than other times. I suppose you're at a different angle and it um, makes it so it just doesn't go through quite right. And the wire can bend if it, it bumps in the center. But with a little practice, it gets much, much easier as you go up the tower. And so we're gonna get it through and then I'll thread it through that very first one again. And I think that way the knot will be more secure. And so I just straighten out my wire and I just send it right through. And then I will take my scissors and I'll cut it and pull it tight and knot it. And I'll do this all the way up the tower. And that way when the peas are growing, they can catch it. So I'm almost all the way up to the top. It got much easier. You get used to the wire going through and the higher you get, it's easier to see through it anyway. And see how that wire with the string works perfect. So there we have it, every single row, singly tied, and the peas can grow up it. Now I'm planting four different types of peas. Now inside that tower, there are actually some cantaloupe and watermelon, but I'll just let them go out the un on the underneath. And you can see Joe over there. He's just doing some little bits of the shed that needed a second coat. I put my fused glass pea steak in there and I'm actually using plastic four or plastic knives that have the names of the individual different types of peas that I'm using. And I'm gonna plant them fairly thick and they can just climb up each one of those strings. So I put it in my little trench, I cover it with dirt, pat it down and I'll really soak it well too. And I'll show you one of my little plant stakes. There's the knife and early perfection is on this side for the peas. And I just have four different types that I'm just seeing how they grow in the Arizona soil. Before you throw something away next time, recycle, reuse, repurpose. Do something so you're not throwing it in the landfill. And I'll see you next time.